Are you thinking about deleting your Google Merchant Center account because you're facing the misrepresentation error that looks like this? And you're looking for the smartest way to actually do this? Then I got you covered in this video with my strategy that you can apply to delete your Merchant Center account right before the cooldown period starts. So this means after you requested three reviews. Make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to explain step by step the process that you need to follow so you make sure you delete your account in the right way. My name is Robin and I've been doing e-commerce since early 2019. And that is the reason why I'm here with the things I've already learned. The benefit of this new strategy is that you can be online with your new merchant center much faster than anyone else. 99% of the e-commerce entrepreneur apply the sit and wait strategy when it comes down to the misrepresentation error and requesting reviews from merchant center. Be aware that many people actually don't follow the strategy what I'm going to explain in this video. This will result in a waste of time and potentially a bad track record in the eyes of Google Merchant Center. So let's dive in my screen together while I already opened a test merchant center that I've created especially for this video. So there we are in the test merchant center what I created for this video. Before you simply remove the account, you need to make sure to remove the business information first. The reason for that is if you remove this business information first, you will make sure that you start with the blank page when you create a new merchant center if this one is deleted. You can do that after around 48 hours. And in this video, I will show you how to delete the business information. So you go on the left tab, uh, what says business info here. You go first into uh, edit business details. Here, if you have your business name still there, you can do three dots and just simply press save. You can do the same for the address line, the city, the province and the state and the zip code right here. If you press save here, you can uh, delete it easily like that. If you have a phone number connected, you can disconnect it. And if you want to remove the customer service uh, implementation right here, you can use any information like for example this and can simply save it, right? So we don't want to leave any important information from your business behind before we delete this merchant center. So uh, if you removed all information right here, you go back to uh, this one and then you edit your online store. Uh, the reason for that is that you claimed your store right now. If you want to make a new website, you need to make sure that it's deleted from the old database right here and make sure you also save this. So now we get the error that you cannot save this URL. So let's implement another one to save something that's not from us in order to exchange the business information. So simply make sure that you put something random right there. So your old one is not verified yet. So this is already perfect. We don't need to confirm anything else. So we need to always unclaim our website domain name before we remove this merchant center. Otherwise we are going to overwrite this old one and then the misrepresentation can continue in the next merchant center that you create. So now this is simply done. You can cancel this. You can go now into the settings right here and then you can go to general account options. You can close the merchant center right here. You press this check marks and you are going to close the merchant center when you click on this button. I advise to make a new one after 48 hours when this one is totally deleted from the database. All right, and that wraps up the video how you can delete your merchant center successfully without leaving any information behind before you create the new merchant center. If you're facing the misrepresentation error, you now know exactly what steps to take to delete your merchant center successfully. If this video was valuable for you, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure to watch the recommendation videos as well if you want to learn more from my e-commerce information about Google Ads or Google Merchant Center. See you in the next one. Ciao.